is involved. Uh, so CarPlay is now iOS and the car. It's now uh, changed into CarPlay, which matches the terminology for AirPlay, uh, which allows you to do, it takes, basically takes the stuff that's on your phone. So maps, messages, uh, Siri, uh, music, and additional apps that have been custom, that have been updated to work with CarPlay. Um, now have a safe interface for a touchscreen that is in your car. Um, I am a huge fan of this as somebody who spends a lot of time in cars, although I will likely never, ever see it. Um, <laughs> what? Because it involves, right now, the only, three, the only three makers of cars that make it are Volvo, Ferrari, and Mercedes. It's coming to Honda and Chevrolet and a number of other makers, but I don't plan on buying a new car anytime soon, so I probably won't see it unless somebody like a pioneer makes an aftermarket version. When, and I think, was it Mercedes was already saying they're going to put in aftermarket panels that they'll have for sale. I can't, it was one of the car vendors. The other interesting thing I was reading, the more and more I read about this after last week, we were talking about how CarPlay actually runs on Cunix, which is Blackberries. It's, Go ahead. Yeah, but it, it, it runs on Cunix in certain vehicles. Right. So that's where I'm wondering if like some software updates will bring this into the car. I think there's some there's something that needs to be there. I agree. There's I, don't, some... I don't think it needs to. I think Apple has I think Apple was trying to. Let's say force the issue and yeah. say that certain things needed to be in place. And the car maker said, uh, no, but we still want you. How do we make that happen? And Apple eventually relented and said, all right, here are the things that you need to do. But one of the keys, I think, to this this technology is all the processing takes place back on the phone. Yep. So pretty much you're air displaying yep. content off of the phone. Mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. all going to rely back on the phone. So that's where and I'm – go ahead. That's the whole point of CarPlay was that it, the whole idea of CarPlay is that the GPS – and head units in cars are generally pretty stupid. And anytime that you want to update them, it is a, it is a very large ordeal. In fact, if I remember correctly, who was it? I think somebody said they had a Nissan Maxima, a customer line. So they had a Nissan Maxima and they wanted to update the maps in it. It was going to cost $400 to do it because it cost $200 for the maps. And then it cost $200 to take the passenger seat out to get to the hard drive in the car to pull it out to do the Wow. Update. My, mine, like, we just recently got a new car and it's an SD card slot. They're like, yeah, when you, when you come back and you want to update any of this, we'll just put a new SD card in it. And that's what mine is. But I, I have an aftermarket one from Pioneer, and it involves me because my head unit is now too old for updates. <laughs> They're worth not mine because it's certainly fine at running the latest stuff, as I've found <laughs> via the internet. Um, and I'm not going to tell you where. Um, but I have a Pioneer AVIC head unit, and I found ways to run the latest software, and I found the latest maps. So I now have the latest maps in my car. It took me like an hour to put it all together. I, the the whole thing of putting your plugging your phone in your car and there's also rumors that that all the that display stuff will come over Wi-Fi at some point, but the idea of plugging your phone in having all of your music and Spotify was a launch day partner which is pretty awesome. Uh, the podcast app is a launch day thing which is again pretty awesome because they're thinking about people like me who listen to podcasts in their car all the time. Um, and a lot of app developers like Marco Arment, who's coming out with a podcast app, said, if it's easy to support, I'll do it. He's like, I don't see any reason not to. I spend a lot of time in my car listening to podcasts. I might as well make sure that it's supported. Um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised. I think what you'll see, though, is details will start to trickle out as to how to actually develop for AirPlay or not AirPlay, CarPlay. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to see somebody like a Kenwood, a Clarion, or a Pioneer, or – Rockford Fosgate. I'm just starting to name car audio companies now. Anybody that makes a GPS head unit, I would love to see somebody like that build that. Pioneer already has it kind of sort of with app radio, but I would love to see that from a third party. 